Hello there, and welcome to the updates video for Sonic Codename Backstreet, brought to you by me, D the Hedgehog, lead designer of the game. This video is meant to be somewhat short and sweet, while describing the important parts of the game's future plans, alongside the reasons of inactivity and what the actual name of the game is. So, if you'd like to take a look at the points on screen, I'll be going over each and every one to keep you informed. Let's get started. Absence. You're probably wondering what the Twitter page has been doing, with a pretty suspect gap of time in the middle there, alongside why I haven't been personally posting about the game much on my own page. Simply put, the team and I have lives, and in my case, I just got lazy after feeling a bit of burnout. I promise to get back on the horse despite some of the things coming up in future that'll probably pull me away again, looking at you Cyberpunk 2077. Additionally, my keyboard's been a little busted when it comes to typing. It keeps rapidly pressing a key when I don't want it to and it really messes with stuff. It'll get fixed eventually, but the ETA on that is still in question. You can imagine what trying to make a game with a continuous letter typing itself in is like. Either way, once things change, the development will resume. Now for the actual meat of this, are the detailing of the future plans and what's been going on. If you haven't been in the Discord server for keeping your eye on updates, all sorts of things had been added though they were mostly just tweaks around the city scene or fixing things I'd overlooked previously. Additional posters or even the addition of jump panels are present, alongside a special instant travel feature where you simply walk in one end and end up out the other, in a totally different place. In fact, the music you're listening to is a track from the team's composer, Ozguy, which confirms that this fan game will be getting its own original music. There are still plenty of plans to add things to getting around the city much easier, like a top-down map to track where you're going. The most important parts of these changes are the fact that there's new code implemented into the base physics, akin to Greedy Raider's Sonic GT. The good news is, it works really well and as you'd expect it to if you've played that fan game. The bad news is, however, it messes with building collision detection, and the only way to really circumvent that is by adding a secondary collider to the transfer ramp and hope for the best. It's a tedious process, but it can be fixed with what probably has to be the elephant in the room for this video, downsizing. I've been afraid of the scope and ambition of the game. I mean, you're making an open world Sonic title, things are bound to be ambitious regardless, even with restricting yourself to a single theme and locale. The performance of the game is something I want to be aware of and how to make it smooth at that, and I believe condensing the world itself is the best way to go about it. Look at the statistics. It's reading millions of visual things at a time, especially with occlusion culling enabled. So, going forward, the city will be shrunk down to account for this possibly with more going on inside of it instead of being a pretty blank canvas with a few ramps and springs. There's also a big upside to it, as I plan to have the game feature tiny levels that you can enter in and out of at will from the city, or from a level select screen. A friend of mine who presented the idea to me earlier really stuck, since it means that levels can be produced at a slightly faster rate, hopefully with a good number of them to make up for how short they might be. They'll have a short description in level select, and a guide for which character is best suited for the stage in the city. I'll hopefully have more on this concept later. Now for the final part of the update. The name. Of course, Backstreet was always a code name. There it is in the title. There's a real logo and final name and I'm very pleased to present it to you. Take a look at Sonic Urban. This logo has gone through a bit of evolution, with this rendition coming from a good friend of mine. Going forward, this logo might be subject to change, but it won't deviate too much from the stunning way it looks already. But for now, the game finally has a name, and I personally hope you enjoy what's to come. And as for the previous name though, I have some ideas. Thank you for watching, and feel free to leave any questions or thoughts in the comments or replies if you're watching this either on YouTube or Twitter. And you can join the Discord server in the description below.